Good afternoon, sexy beast, or good morning, or good time, whatever whatever time you're at. I don't know. I, I don't know either. Uh, anyways, I'm going to apologize for the video I sent earlier. I was not myself, and I figured out what the issue was. There we go. Now I feel a little bit more beast mode. Thank God. Hope you guys are doing, having a good morning, so morning, day, time, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to keep these gains coming in. Um... So this was a, this is a, 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 just keeping it all going, trying to you know, keep myself as busy as possible. Uh, so this is also Wednesday, <clears throat> um, March 18th. And uh, I'm going to show you the workout that I did uh, about actually a week ago, which was on last Wednesday. It was um, March 11th. Uh, and it was, it was a good one. It was a really good one. Because again, I, I think I had already talked about it um, earlier this week is that this wasn't a back down, like this wasn't a, a deload week, even though going into a show. Um, so the great thing about it is that um, I was able to go and kind of push the limit when it comes to getting back up to where I was before, uh, before I went on my first deload before Swan Lake. Um, but I kept it really simple, just the heavy stuff, you know, all my favorite stuff. Uh, so it was um, Romanian deadlifts, and then we did regular deadlifts. Which uh, I don't know if I've uh, talked about the the warm up scheme for that. That's actually changed a bit. Um, the and then bench press, uh, and again I actually changed that up a little bit as well because I felt that I was pushing um, after the first two sets of it, which I'll, I'll show you two different sets. Uh, the first set and then the third set. And the first set was pr like it was heavy, but I felt I could do it, and I was worried that on the second set I wasn't gonna be able to finish it, so that I rest paused it. We'll explain. Anyways, let's get down to it. Three, two, one. Oh, dang. There's sound. I am a terrible person. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, this was uh, a Romanian deadlift with the barbell. Um, did a set of eight with 145 pounds. Um, it was a... Yeah, it was good. Uh, again, I, I am going to keep saying it. Romanian deadlifts are, the, are one of the best exercises for dancers. I think I need to, I still need to do that video. I need to go back through and say which ones are the best ones. I believe so far it's been squat, Romanian deadlift, and overhead press. But yeah, Romanian deadlifts, especially for girls that want to be doing lots of ponches, that are going to be standing on, uh, on point for a long time. Um, and I think uh, being able to really find that activation of your hamstrings, I think, goes a long way. So, um, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's the campfire. Maybe we'll do a campfire tomorrow or something. Uh, well, we got a couple campfires. I got to get out there. Um, I've got a list somewhere, but I definitely know I need to talk about beast mode, and we got to try and explain my my ethos that is it's in it's in here somewhere. I just can't get it out. So okay, where's the next workout? Next workout, deadlifts. Here we go, and it was good. It was uh, 230 pounds for six. So what I was gonna say is that the the warm up scheme has changed. There we go. Barbell didn't move. Yay. Shins. Touch the bar eventually. There you go. <laughs> and then open the knees and then pull. Uh, so, yeah, the warm-up has changed in that instead of just doing 70, 80, 90 for deadlifts, I actually end up doing uh, 60, 70, 80, 90. Again, just to kind of add a little extra volume. Um, the I, I felt like this is all good. Um, I, don't, I don't believe my hips are falling. Yeah, I know. Hips stay where they need to be. Back is braced. Everything's strong. It's still holding it at the top, so that way, again, we're improving my grip strength because I refuse to do hook grip. It hurts. I don't like it. <laughs> and I don't want to I don't want to use straps. So I'm going to be adamant about that, and, I, and I, I'm hoping that it's going to help my... I understand that hook grip will, will, will hold onto the bar better because what you're doing is you're taking the bar right here, right here, and you're wrapping your thumb around and then grabbing onto your thumb. So the bar is pull, pulling down on your thumb. So it kind of like, um, kind of locks everything into place. But uh, that, it's just uncomfortable. No thanks. I'd rather not. Um, I probably could also uh, invest in some chalk. Uh, just, that's definitely what I would need to kind of dry out my hands. Uh, actually, what's nice is that recently my, my calluses have gotten a lot better since I've been... Uh, better, uh, taking better care of placing my hand on the bar a specific way. Uh, Mark Ripito made a really nice video on that, about how to actually place your hand on it so you don't rip your calluses off. Um, but yeah, so, deadlifts, yay. Okay, so, now, we're moving on. Okay, moving on, moving on. So yeah, and I said that the bench press was 101, sorry, I'm stammering over my words and I'm forgetting one important thing. Mm. Mm. 
it's not the greatest coffee. Um, I'm digging deep to, there's a, a bunch of stuff that my parents like, again, so I think uh, last couple videos ago we talked about all the Punisher stuff my parents like to get me for, uh, for Christmas because I love Punisher. And of course they know I love coffee. And, um, oh, they also know I like shot glasses, but they haven't really gotten me any shot glasses in a while, which is good because that's not necessary. <laughs> But they, they do still get me, uh, like, grab bags of, of coffee, so it'll be, like, the, the 12 coffees of Christmas or whatever. So I've had this in the back of the of the uh, cupboard for a bit, and I'm just like, I should probably drink that now, just to kind of make sure it's not going bad. It's it's fine, because, you know, it's, it's what you get when you when you get the 12 packs of Christmas. It's not like it's uh, Javalia coffee or, or Julius Meinl. It's it's fine. It's still, it, what is it, the Bistro blend? Eh. I'm not going to burst into flames for drinking it, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, there could be worse things, you know, biblical things. Uh, okay, one second. Let me adjust this video real quick. There you go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Go. There it is. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so I was going for uh, my sets of fives with 175, uh, 170 pounds. Um, and I was I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised. This is This is... Probably the strongest I've been on bench press in a while. If I look back at my notes, let's see, let me go back to it. Uh, it's, it's in here somewhere. I've been kind of keeping notes of how, I mean, oh no, it's about, it's about where I peaked at last time. Um, but again, so actually, if you see this right now, so this is the first set, and it's already kind of a grinder, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make all three sets. I was a little worried. Oh, dang. Uh, I got to answer that in a second. But uh, what is it? The um, the nice thing is that at least I can kind of feel, okay, I could probably get two sets in, but I need to figure out how am I going to make it a little stronger uh, going forward for um, like, the like the third set. So then on the third set, which was, you know, the last set of it, um, I decided that doing a rest pause would be better. But it's a rest pause. Well, I think we talked about this one point. So what you do is you utilize the, the natural energy system that you have in your body, which is ATP, which is used for very rapid um, explosive movements. So if you want to lift something really heavy you're, uh, and you're only going to be do using it for like the first 20 seconds, if you're only going to be do it for 20 seconds, then you're able to utilize all of that ATP to create all that explosive power. Um, and usually after five reps, it's usually pretty much gone. But if you, if you feel like you're getting to the limits of that, what you can do is you can cut the, re the, the set in half. So, um, so I did a set of three, and then I rested for 20 seconds, and then I did another set of three. So I ended up doing six, and I actually, it, it increased the volume, but it also uh, utilized that energy to make sure that I was going to be able to um, uh, be able to get through it and not kill myself, because I don't have, you know, fancy, um, I, don't, I don't have a, a fancy rack or anything like that. But, you know, if I, can't, if I can't rack it, and if I can't put it back up, I have no reason to even lift it in the first place. So, so here it is. Sorry, somebody was calling me while I was trying to video, and that's the problem with using my phone as the video thing. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and it's, it's already going. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get up the gumption to do it. Um, wise man once said, you have two choices. Either you don't lift it, or you put that bar back up. That's the only, those are the only two choices you got. Uh, there you go. There's one. There's two. Now, as you can tell, see, the first three reps are pretty good. Okay, great. Rack it. Rest for 20 seconds. I didn't want to let go of the bar because I felt like I was going to uh, give up if I did that. And I think I just, I counted to like five, like five breaths, which is about 10, 15 seconds. And then went, went for it. Now, watch how much faster the bar gets out of the, out of the hole. One. There we go. Two. Three. There you go. See, I love rest pause. Rest pause is the greatest thing in the world. Everybody should be doing rest pause. There's, it, it is not an advanced, um, it is not an advanced te technique, and it's not going to kill your gains because you weren't able to do your set of five. Shots fired. <laughs> you know, again, um, I think especially for starting off, if the nice thing about starting strength, and I'm not. Again, I'm a huge proponent of, of starting strength protocol. I think it absolutely works. It works very well. But what, what people, if you do the actual program, sorry, I'm moving around and shaking the camera again. Uh, if you're doing the starting strength protocol and you do it exactly to the book by the letter, at the, at the earliest, it, at the latest, it'll peak out after six months. 
at the earliest, it'll peak out in three months. I mean, especially if you're making huge gains, you gain, gains, gains, gains the whole way. Um, and I think uh, that's where you have to you have to use starting strength, but then you have to use this other stuff. You have to use this other stuff. You have to take it all and smash it together. Um, and I think the more people can get off their high horse and figure out that everything's good, everything works. You just have to know when to use what. You know, like CrossFit does work, it, and 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 it's it it works for a very specific reason. Whereas, I mean. Yes, I make CrossFit jokes and all that kind of stuff, but it works. And it, and I think it, and the nice thing about it is I feel like CrossFit is a lot easier to, to stick to because you never know what's going to happen. Like, it's not the same thing. Whereas with starting strength, because it's people can say that it's boring. And they're like, well, yeah, it's you're just getting strong. <laughs> and again, if you use starting strength and you do CrossFit and you do something else, like you're just going to be getting stronger all around and also be fit and be able to utilize your metabolic, whatever, you know. Anyway, clearly the coffee's kicking in. It means we're probably going to have to bank another video, which I'd love to do. Um, I, hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, was, I just wanted to give you guys a a little idea of where, what we're doing, you know, what, what I'm going to be able to do. Uh, and I think, I don't know if you guys um, saw the other video about four pieces that you should get for your own home gyms just so you can get started. Um, you can, it's really easy to, to get all that stuff. I mean, I really highly recommend kettlebells. I really highly recommend exercise, um, exercise balls. Um, and if you're worried about doing uh, cardio, like, I mean, walking outside's great. Uh, actually, I've got another thing that you can do if you've got stairs in the house. Um, actually, that's another thing. So if you if you only have like a two stairs thing or whatever, you can just step up, step down, step up, step down. Um, you can do that for you know five minutes and then do something else, and then five minutes and then do that something else. That that that'll get your cardio up. Trust me. Um, you can also just walk up if you if you have a, a basement stairs, walk up the stairs, walk back down, up and over and up and over. Um, Let's, I mean, yeah, if you have any questions, put them, downstairs, put them downstairs in the comments. And you know, make sure to give me two thumbs. I'll take one. And, uh, yeah, keep on your coffee. Keep washing your hands. Keep lifting that heavy-ass weight. And I'll talk to you soon. Love you, sexy beasts. Bye. Get after it.